Um, so the journey started in Egypt. First left Sudan, uh, spent about two years. Obviously applied for different countries. After a few months of actually applying, we got lucky and my mum, my dad, sister and I came to Australia around 2005. I was four, about to turn five that, later that year. So I grew up in Liverpool, but a lot of my cousins, aunties and uncles lived in Blacktown, so around this area. I spent a lot of time with obviously Sudanese like myself and the South Sudanese. And having that sense of community really like gives that support. On the pitch, there's always someone to do it for. There's always a community. There's always a kid, always a kid that you need to lift their head up. And so that gives me a bit of motivation to sort of keep working and grinding hard, I guess. I mean, I feel um, very privileged to be an ambassador of the African Cup. Playing in the A-League and sort of having a lot of players, uh, younger kids, and look, looking up to me, it gives me that sense of motivation and to keep fighting sort of for the South Sudanese community, the Sudanese community, and also the African community in general. And hopefully one day a lot of them can hopefully reach this stage. Uh, so starting the African Cup was quite a big thing for the African community. Um, it brought everyone from different nations together and it's been going on for about 20 years now and basically it's a replica of the actual African Cup. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for young talent to showcase themselves. Um, I mean for the Sudanese community and the African community in general it's, it's quite big. I mean it unites everyone, keeps the youth out of trouble, helps everyone interact. Um, different kids from different nations come together, we all speak different languages but we somehow find a way to sort of connect and bond with each other. It's really done well to bring the African community together. Right now we've got in this wonderful facility, so it's a very good opportunity for them to sort of really show what they're about. I mean, heading to this tournament was a lot of hype, especially given that it's at the Wondrous facilities. I mean, coaches can come along and watch. Um, they're quite happy for it to be here. I mean, it's a good pitch, good environment, brings everyone together. It's in Blacktown, so a lot of the Sudanese community and the South Sudanese community reside around these areas. Words can't describe how much talent in the African community, but I mean, without opportunity, there's really not much of a chance you can really show yourself. So I feel like with this African Cup being here at the Wanderers, um, a lot of players can sort of showcase themselves and like I said before, show what they're really about um, and sort of take the game to the next level.